What's going on everyone, Mr. here, hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic today. As always, welcome to Battlefield 2042 Beta. Okay, so I don't want to waste your time so much, but I do want to just quickly say this is going to be for PC and console, so whether or not you're on PC or console, or if this is if, if this is your first Battlefield, some people, I know it's only a beta, but some people may not know what settings to do, what to do, what controls, if you're on PC, what graphical settings, whether or not you have a mid or low end PC, so I'm going to go through all of that, and uh, yeah, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like, if you don't, leave a dislike, and uh, Let's get into the video. Subscribe if you're new. So we've got all the tabs here, general display, sound control, mouse and keyboard, accessibility, and key bindings. So we're just gonna start off and go from the left all the way to the right and uh, check out the most important ones. Okay, so some of these are personal preference. I keep all of that default. Now you have the crossplay, all that stuff, uh, hints for controls. Probably keep the hints for controls on if you don't know what you're doing, uh, can be handy. Uh, crossplay, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now moving on to display, starting off with video. Uh, this part is mainly for PC, but there might be a few things in here. So if you are on console, feel free to tag along through these settings too. Okay, so full screen mode, obviously full screen, otherwise if you have any other preference, if you need it for something else, whether it's windowed or whatnot, then set that. Okay, so obviously go to your highest native resolution, which will most likely be 1920 by 1080 and uh, refresh rate, set it to the max that it goes to. Field of view, this is all preference. If you have low field of view, uh, you basically, it'll crop the screen and you won't see much. So I, I recommend keeping it anywhere between 60 to the size you want to go. Just test around with that. Uh, I go up to 90. ADS field of view. So the field of view, when you aim down sight, it will zoom straight back into the normal field of view, the default field of view, if you're aiming. I like to keep that uh, the same as my actual field of view when running around. So I keep ADS field of view on. I'm going to skip over a couple of these that are just self-explanatory. Something like HDR, that just depends on your monitor. Motion blur. Motion blur. Big one. Keep that off. Keep that off unless you just want a super immersive experience and you don't care about actually playing good. Turn off motion blur. Come on, man. Let's turn it off. Chromatic aberration, film grain, vignette, and lens distortion. I turn all of those off. They're just distracting and, uh, that just, yeah, just turn them off. Just turn them off. They make the game look a little bit pretty, I guess, besides besides maybe the vignette. Now onto the graphics presets. This completely depends. If you have like top tier PC, don't worry about it. Just set it to whatever the hell you want, but I would recommend going slightly low on some of the things just so you get the best FPS possible. For me, I I have a good graphics card, but my, my CPU is a little bit on the low end. So I got a custom texture quality high because I like the textures nice, texture filtering, keep that medium, lighting quality low, effects quality, medium, post-processing quality, and keep that low. Now Battlefield 4 and some other Battlefields, you would have to set mesh quality to ultra. Otherwise it would just wouldn't render the meshes uh, at certain distances and stuff and it's really hard to spot people and see them but it seems to be working just fine for me on mesh quality high now terrain quality on growth quality i keep both on medium anti-aliasing post-processing taa high otherwise you can turn it down to low but it 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 might be a little bit jagged that's okay it's all up to you and ambient occlusion i just keep that off it gives me like a 10 to 12 fps boost which is pretty good Dynamic resolution scale, which will deliver more consistent frame rate at the cost of resolution. I keep that off. I just want straight my resolution with what my PC can put out in terms of FPS. All the rest to keep off future frame rendering. Make sure to keep that off and vertical sync off. Otherwise, yeah, it's up to you. Now with high fidelity objects amount, it says you will uh, get a more consistent experience, but it may impact performance. So uh, I, I like to keep that on high. It was on ultra by default, but I keep that one on high. Now there's not too many options in terms of customizing the HUD and stuff like that. Like you cannot make the minimap bigger at the moment. Obviously gonna add stuff like that in uh, with a full release. And everything still is subject to change as it is beta. HUD on obviously, camera shake amount. I just turned that down a little bit. I don't mind the camera shake if there's explosions that let me know that it's, it just lets me know that there's things going on around, okay? You gotta be aware. Otherwise the rest here I keep default, but show kills made by, set that to nearby. This is just my preference, but if it's set to nearby, obviously it doesn't matter about using your own kills, but if you see kills on the kill cam, you know that it's happening around you. Therefore, you know that there's enemies. There could be some more enemies around you. It's just good to have that on. Now, the rest here is this is just personal preference completely. Um, all of that is just personal preference. Now, moving on to sound, I keep all of these the same except music volume. I turn that down just in case it ramps up a little bit during the end game or whatnot, and it, it can get distracting. So I turn that down a little bit. But speaker configuration, you got audio mix. Keep that on 3D headphones if you do have 3D headphones. Otherwise, headphones will do just fine. And I keep the hit indicator and all this stuff. I, I just keep the rest of that default. Voice chat, completely up to you. Now, I play mouse and keyboard now, and I'm not as good as I was on controller, because I'm still kind of getting used to mouse and keyboard, but uh, but this is all the controller scheme uh, settings right here, so you can fiddle around with that. Now, mouse and keyboard, this is all default right here, but make sure mouse raw, raw input is on. Um, it should be on by default anyway. Now over here in accessibility and then controls, you have soldier sprint, you can choose to toggle or hold with all these, same with weapon zoom, vehicle weapon zoom, I mean, steady scope and soldier weapon zoom. You can choose what you want here. I kept that all default. Um, 
But one thing, uh, one thing people may not know, whatever button you have bound to run, for example, it should be by default shift, uh, you, you can double tap it. Just like in Warzone, if you played Warzone, you double tap, you get your tactical run, you run faster, so little tip there the rest here is just literally all preference um and i know some of these settings there's not, and i know there's, i didn't really go too in depth but there's not too much to go in depth with uh with the settings we have provided with the beta um but i just want to quickly do this with people who are maybe new or maybe a little bit confused or whatnot um and uh, i'll be doing a full new updated version of this once the full game comes out so uh, make sure to let me know if you want to see that and uh if you didn't know my old channel i had nearly 10,000 subscribers and i was known for settings and guides and and like class setups and stuff um so if you want to see class setups and stuff for weapons make sure to let me know as well and uh yeah hopefully this wasn't too long hopefully you're having a good day and uh yeah see you in the next video